Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today is Wednesday, April 15th, and we are going to have a very productive day. I've already done counseling. By the way, when I say I'm doing something like I'm going to church or we, we need to get ready for church or we need to go watch church or when, you know, we have church um, at this time. None of us are able to do anything. We're not, like, none of the churches are open. None of the, <clears throat> like, no one's open for counseling or anything. Everything is done either online or on the phone. Because I noticed um, a couple of questions in my last vlog about, oh, you guys went to church in my living room. <laughs> we sure did. Um, just like everyone else. Um, I know, I think, I think some churches have opened and I don't like that idea at all. But anyways, I digress. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. Um, we have a long list of things to do today. First things first, I got my counseling out of the way. Um, so after this, me and the kids are gonna go outside. Kentrell's gonna mow the lawn. Ava is going to um, pull weeds. And here comes the nerve wracking part. I am going to try. <clears throat> to use a weed eater and I am really scared I'm not gonna lie like I'm gonna be honest y'all yard work is not my thing it just isn't I have no interest in it I, I just feel this intense feeling of dread whenever I talk about or even think about having to do yard work and I'm just like no I don't want to do it um even like with like Control being the one that mows the lawn like I'm like I don't even I don't even want him like I just don't want to do, I just want to hire someone I'm gonna be honest I just want to hire someone but then I'm like he is 14 and perfectly capable of mowing the lawn um one thing I'm dreading is the fact that like yesterday I was looking at my bushes and I was like oh crap these things need to be trimmed so I don't know. We're going to have to figure out because it doesn't like it's not enough to get one of those electric weed cutter, not weed cutters, electric hedge cutter. I don't know what the heck they're called. It's not worth it for that. But like those little scissor thingies, those things is what I would need. But then I get like so OCD. It's kind of like, uh. but I also do want to put some mulch down in like the little shrub flower area um that won't be today though but we are gonna try our hand for the first time ever with a weed eater so wish me luck super super disappointed because I thought I was filming where I actually like figured out how to start this weed eater but I guess it I get, the camera did keep turning off yesterday I guess I wasn't filming it but I did learn how to start this weed eater all on my own I mean I did YouTube it and I found a video that was like 
<clears throat> super easy, super like to the point. And I was like, yes. And I figured it out. And I was so dang proud of myself. Like y'all, you don't even, you can't even begin to understand. Maybe some of you do, but I never, never did yard work like ever. So for me to figure this out, like if you've ever tried to start a weed eater, it's not the, it's not like the hardest thing, but if you've never done it before, it's like, huh? So I was just super proud of myself for, you know, figuring it out. Yay. And super sad that I didn't get it on camera. Oh, well, why? Well, I got to tell you guys. I also have to tell you guys that the little, I don't even know what you call it. It's not wire. It's like little plastic things that are supposed to be sticking out of the thing to make the weed eater a weed eater, which is what I'm working on right now. I actually figured that out all on my own and it's pretty self-explanatory but it was still kind of confusing too because I was like oh this one goes in this one and this one goes here and how does this wind up and how I was just kind of confused but I remember my ex-husband um, like watching him like a long time ago do it and I was like what is that and he would tell me oh this is the stuff that like cuts the weeds and I'd be like oh and so I remember watching him one time so I didn't have to YouTube this or anything I totally figured that out on my own figured this out on my own but it was kind of hard and it took me uh, several minutes but I did it I got it done and there the camera just fell in the wind oh girl you should wear a name tag Girl, you should wear a name tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Let's go. Summer's gone, I'm latching on. Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head. Underneath rays of gold, your body also close. No, I can't forget, no When I saw you on the dance floor Oh, I saw you who saw me first I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care but it still hurts I didn't realize the danger Cause you're the end of the rainbow And the music was so loud Didn't catch your name over this crowd Girl, you should wear a name tag Cause all I wanna do is to know your name Girl, you should wear a name tag that's the only way that I get your name Girl, you should wear a name tag It's too important to be your name People go insane when you walk by Girl, you should wear a name tag start smoking yeah I don't <laughs> this is why I want to hire someone to do this crap Contrell's gone he has a zoom class right now and there's not much to be done in the backyard but I need the lawnmower Like, it, smo it was smoking bad, y'all. Like, really bad. It came out of this right here. Wait, where? Oh. And I have no idea what the heck that thing is. <sighs> y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. I kind of got the weed eater. <laughs> Bless you. But... As you can see, we still have like all of this, if you guys can even see in the lighting. That I couldn't even get with the weed eater. So apparently, someone's gonna have to pull weeds. I probably just need to buy, what's it called? Some um, weed killer. Because of all of that too, against the fence. That, the lawnmower can't get to. And I want to say I tried doing the weed eater to that and I couldn't get it either. And then we've got a few 
Look at that shadow. I got a few right here. I don't know if you can even see that with that shadow. Look at the neighbor's lawn. I'm so pretty. Or I'm so jealous. They are just so pretty. Oh, I don't know, y'all. It's kind of scary. That smoke was like no joke. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Fingers crossed this thing does not smoke and that we can at least finish this backyard. <sighs> All right, let's do this. I'm thinking it's gonna smoke, but hopefully not. Whispering soft, alluring signs Wrapping you around my finger Gently touch, full of spell Blinding you <sighs> So, my lawn is done I went to the front And did a little patch of grass By the mailbox and by the road Now Since This is Contrell's job And I pretty, me and Ava pretty much did his job He is going to be Responsible for pulling up all the weeds against the fence and all the weeds that I couldn't get to with the weed eater out of breath and um, me and Ava are going to sweep I need to sweep the front porch the back porch also needs to be swept and what else? Sweep. Maybe sweep the driveway? Something like that. I don't know. A lot of sweeping needs to be done. But yeah, Control is going to pull all of the weeds because his job is to mow the lawn. And he did like not even half of it. Me and Ava did most of it. So glad that's done. Glad my lawnmower didn't smoke. Although, I probably need to go ahead and tell my landlord that it's been smoking. Um, I don't know if it's like overheating or what. If any of you guys know about lawnmowers and why it could be doing that, if you would let me know, that would be greatly appreciated. I need to show you guys this mess. So I went to the Dollar Tree the other day just so I could like get some things for the kids um, because I know they've been like super bored and they've been having way too much screen time. So with that being said, I went ahead, went to the dollar store, and got them like a bunch of stuff. But now, look at my back patio. Shoes, all of this. I'm assuming there's paint on there now. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, that was not there. No, actually, you know what that is? That's chalk, so that's cool. Um, but yeah. I cannot stand to have all of this just jumbled up. By the way, that's the weed eater. So I'm gonna let Control know he can either use that or he can pull them by hand. Um, got them some like things to play in with water. Um, Ava did not tell me she was going painting out here. She's got her paints. Um, it just needs to be organized. Like it is just a mess and I don't like coming out here and seeing it like this. It's just too messy for me. So we're gonna clean that up too. Sneaking around, hunt and pray to find me. Okay, so we are about to do some math problems with rounding. Please pray for me, y'all. Math is not my forte. I still have to count on my fingers when it's nine plus eight. When I'm asked what nine plus eight is, when I was a waitress, I had to carry around a calculator. I am the worst when it comes to math. So pray for me, pray for us. Okay, so question control. The school is taking 250 students on a field trip. Each bus holds 30 students. How many buses will be needed to hold all of the students? Oh, I, I was just thinking of a question like that. Hold on. So divide, you can get the answer. It's 250, it's 250 by divided by 30. Uh -huh. You get 8.3. Now, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. that doesn't mean you have... 8.3 buses, you have nine buses because no, but there's listen. extra kids. I know, I know, I know. Oh, okay. Listen, this is an example of a division problem where you would need to what? Would you need to drop the remainder? 
you don't drop the remainder because that's like, okay, sorry kids, you, you guys yeah, are left over, those, you can't they go. can't go. Use the remainder as the answer, no, because you wouldn't need three buses. No, because you don't need 8.3 buses. You Use need... the remainder to round up to the next whole number. Yeah. Yeah, but you. But the thing is, if you, stop looking at my pants. If you round, so we got that one wrong. if you round, you go to eight. No, if you round up, if you round it up to the next whole number. Because, like, I know that if you nine. round with the decimal, it has to be over five if it goes up to nine. But with a problem like that, it's like you have to have, like, that because it's not like slots. It's like. It's okay, but listen, listen to this one. Use the quotient and the remainder for your answer. Mm-mm. So, so I guess round up, round it's up. It's the remainder it's to up. round up. Okay, so I totally got that one wrong. Okay, number two, which one did we have for number two? Girl, I need to teach you how to organize. I'll tell you, how do you? Okay, I organize my math books all the time. Oh my gosh, I cannot figure this out. Number six, what? She needs to learn how to organize. <laughs> Why do you go from one to six? Where's number three? <laughs> it's all the way on the bottom. <laughs> Your teacher needs. She needs. She needs some. She needs to. She needs to watch my channel and learn how to organize. Submit. Do they tell you your grade right away? No. You score. Oh yeah. Also, we I, we can't. What grade did we get? Hold on. I want to see what grade I got because this was my grade. Our. Are you serious? What you mean? How did I get an eighty? That's good. That's fine. No, it's not. I was supposed to get a hundred. That's way better than I. I get. see what I get. I am twenty-eight years old. I I should okay. know Look, these fourth grade math problems. I want to tell you something. Get a hundred. I want to tell you something. Basically, ah! you want to know something else that's also making me kind of mad. Okay, let me ask you this. Allison had forty-six photos to put into a photo album. Mm -hmm. If each page holds nine photos, how many full pages will she have? Hold on, so what? Do it again. How many photos? Did Allison had forty-six photos okay, to so put you into do a photo album. Divided by well, yeah, I that'd know be, that that'd part. be like forty-five point one. I think forty-six divided or, by nine. Like four, because oh, hold on, no, no, five no, point one. I'm at yeah, yeah. You are so one. smart. So you then, can do this crap in your head, and I'm all like, oh, it's just because it's because I know that um forty-five can be divided by nine. Dang, dude, you are um, so smart. That, it's five point one. So that's just she can fill five photo albums. What was the question asking? Like how many? How what, many full pages will she have? That's five. Why isn't it six? Because oh, it's, five. it's full. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get one of the things I need first. I'm sorry. It's okay. No, I'm, I'm telling Ava I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, at least I got at, at least I did get a sixty. Are you happy with your B? <laughs> as long as you're happy with it, I'm I, not. What do you guys say? Riley played three hockey games this weekend. He scored twelve goals in the first game. 14 in the second game, 13 in the third game. Did he or did he not score about 12 goals per game? Yes, he scored 12 and then 14 and then 13. So each game he scored at least 13. 12. 12. How is that wrong? I just got an 80 on this test and I'm not happy about it because I'm 28 years old. 29 actually, 29, and I should be able to do a fourth grade word problem test and get all 10 right. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm going to get you. <laughs> okay, so question. Uh-huh. I'm listening. Did he score about 12 goals per game? That's like about 13. Well, yeah, about 12. Well, why did I get the answer wrong? Wait, you said, okay, you said, come here, because he it has, it has, no, come here, it has it listed out to where, you Wait, know, like, see. pick the, pick the ones that are like, pick the estimates that are accurately describe how many goals he scored. So we have that he scored about 40 goals over the weekend, because that's, add all that up and it's 39. He scored about 13 goals per game. You, no, you gotta, no, it's one of the, okay, it's that, oh, yeah, it's a, yeah, but those are both true, 
He yeah, did score about 12 and 13. No, no, no. Okay, so this is like this is like an average. See, look, there's 12, 13, 14. The middle's 13. 12 rounds close to 12 rounds to 13. 14 rounds to 13. So it's 13. Okay, well next and time, next time Ava needs help, you're helping her because okay. she oh, would have okay. got 100 on this if you helped her. <laughs> Wrong. Seriously, she would have got a hundred if you helped. So you think you were right? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, way I do, will knock you down. You know there's a motion between us. Don't go cry about it. Don't these in the front I just don't know where I want to put them um, and these meaning those solar lights I wish my ex-husband would come get that grill because I honestly have no desire to learn how to charcoal grill but yeah looks much much better out here than it did and the grass looks amazing and control did a great job with the weed eater too Trying not to speak, pretend that I'm dreaming I smell your breath, not listening But I still hear you screaming Going under One step away till you hear what I'm saying Sounds like thunder And the clouds are closing in You see, I know this But the last days in real life I've noticed Losing focus, breaking up from our life as we know it If someone had told me that I will take off And find something greener, greener than
won't go away I've got that feeling rushing through my body I know that it is here to stay It's like you're my personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the Okay, so here's our pizza I have an issue though I think it's stuck like completely on this like I cannot you see this it's stuck Ava sprayed it I don't know what's going on but I'm gonna try to cut it and see what we can do with this so here is our dinner for tonight we've got two slices of pizza and oh, and a salad as can tell we're waiting on Ava to come inside she's out there so we are going to chow down fingers crossed this is really good We just finished dinner. I'm eating an orange creamsicle. Ava's eating a Klondike bar. Cantrell's eating a... Bunch pop, something like that. Is it like hard chocolate and then vanilla in the middle? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we are eating dessert. The pizza, it was okay. Crust wasn't our favorite. I'm almost wondering if we were supposed to cook the crust, crust first and then do the toppings. One will never know because if it had instructions on there, it was tore off by Ava. <laughs> so we are doing our, what I like to call, hour-long 
it's not Bible study. I was going to say Bible study. Hour long book club. And that is where we have to get one book and we have to read for one hour and we all read together. Not like out loud this or anything. Is how far I <clears throat> awesome. Kentrell will read his book. I will read my book or her book. I'll read my book. I am currently reading. Hold on. I am currently reading Joyce Meyer, Healing the Soul of a Woman, but yeah, we're going to do our hour long, our hour, we're going to do our book club and then we'll catch up with you guys later. It is 8.46, end of the night. The whole entire downstairs is clean. No, you have to come end the vlog with me tonight. So, living room's all clean. Kitchen's all cleaned. Everything's vacuumed. Now, I just need to tackle the upstairs. <clears throat> Hold on. Now I just need to tackle the upstairs, but that's gonna get done tomorrow because this girl is very tired and I'm ready to relax and watch Empire and then watch that little fires thing on Hulu with Reese Witherspoon and Carrie Washington. And then also Sisters on BET. So how was our day? It was fun. Can you describe it in one word? Fun. That's what I would say. It was a really, really good day. By far one of the best days that I've had in a really, really, really long time. I want to show it you was my, my hold job. on. Uh, okay. It was very um we got a lot of stuff done. Um that backyard was just driving me crazy, so was the front yard. So yeah, we had a really good day. Um did you want to show them your picture? This mm -hmm. is amazing, you guys. I'm not so finished amazing. with it yet, but it's from a book. The Babysitter's Club. <clears throat> she drew that freehand, all on her own. No tracing. She is amazing. And I messed up on here because I was just like practicing her. Oh. That looks so good. So yeah, we are going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, oh, I feel totally accomplished too because I totally figured out how to start... The weed eater, I was totally... You can go upstairs, baby. Oh, bye, guys. <laughs> I love you. Love you, too. Um, I was totally, totally intimidated by it, but once I got the hang of it, even control, I used it, no problem, no fear, so I'm really proud of us for figuring that out. We even had to figure out, like, the little string things or whatever that stuff is that, like, actually cuts down the weeds we had to figure out how to do that several times but we finally figured it out um so i'm i feel super accomplished really 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 accomplished so yeah love you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more of these let me know um please share this video like this video subscribe if you are new and we will see you in the next one by the way do you guys like how i curled my hair today just to go do yard work it's the little things, y'all. It's the little things in the quarantine that make us feel good. And the false lashes. Alright, love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!